pump for the particular solution yp and this d is operator d over dt this is the derivative operator okay just setting up the correct form uh, so we need to consider the homogeneous portion first which is what is this y triple prime plus 4y prime equals 0 based on this we write we find characteristic equation which is r cubed plus 4y prime means r equals 0 the less factor so r cubed for our two terms r out r squared plus 4 equals 0 okay so from this r equals 0 and r squared plus 4 0 means what r squared plus 4 0 r squared subtract 4 from both sides negative 4 so r is square root of negative 4 plus minus okay that's 2i so 0 plus and minus 2i okay so we have three roots but plus minus these are complex roots always come in pairs anyways so based on these roots the solutions are e raised to 0 t which is 1 oh these are imaginary so there is no real part real part is 0 here there is nothing so e to the lambda lambda is not so this gives us cosine 2 t and sine cosine, cosine and sine are always together so these three are the solutions but our goal is to determine yp based on this so let's write down the initial guess and we'll correct that if needed so first is 3t times e to the t it's a degree one polynomial times e to the t so 3t is degree 1. That means we write general degree 1. A t plus b times e to the t. So it will be like this. We don't need another constant. In fact, this is a linear combination. Let's check if this is correct for first part. Okay, there is a plus. We have a to do the second part. This is in fact take a equals 1, b equals 1. So t e t 1 e t and they are not here okay not in the list so this is good okay this is good enough that is based on first term plus now three times sine t i mean three is just constant sine t cosine 2t or sine 2t or cosine 2t or both it will be a linear combination of sine and cosine so it will be a sine 2t plus b cosine 2t okay a and b are already used so we can write a1 b1 can't have the same constants again and this is in fact if we take these constants one uh, then sine 2t cosine 2t but they are already here so we multiply through by t that way now t sine 2t t cosine 2t are two solutions and they are not here anymore so this is the correct form okay here we got d so the corresponding homogeneous part is d squared d plus 1 cubed of y equals 0 so characteristic equation will be just r squared replace the operator d by r so this is r squared r plus 1 cubed equals 0 so times means r square equals 0 so r equals 0 but twice r plus 1 cubed okay so r plus 1 cubed 0 0 is 0 cubed so r plus 1 0 means r equals negative 1 but three times negative 1 negative 1 negative 1 now based on these roots we have solutions e raised to 0 t 1 e raised to 0 t again but that's already there so t times e raised to 0 t which is 1 so t times 1 is just t uh, e to the negative t again e to the negative t but it's already here multiply by t e to the negative t so t multiply by t again t square so we got 5 distinct solutions here 
Now, based on the right hand side here, we write yp. And if you look at it closely, pi of t minus 7, you can think that is 1. Okay? You can think as 1, degree 1 polynomial. That means general degree 1, a t plus b. Let's fix this one and we have exponential. So this is t and 1. I mean, this one is a linear combination of two solutions, t and 1. t is there, 1 is also there. Multiply by t. If we multiply by t, it becomes t squared and t. t is still there. Then we multiply by t squared. One more time, then that becomes t cubed and t squared. Not anymore. So this is correct form for the first part. Then plus uh, exponential function that will be always constant times exponential function. Same exponential function. Okay, constants a, a b a is already used, so maybe a one. Okay, e t is will be same thing. But let's see. If we take this one e to the negative t is here. Multiply by t. That's here as well. t squared here, so it will be t cube then. t cube et is no longer here, so this is the correct form. Final.